Hey guys, welcome to a mod review. I know, I'm back and I'm already doing a mod review. How could you not do a mod review if you dabble in a bit of mod reviews on a Thurgie Grey? Let's rewind back to what, FS13 with NI Modding? The heyday of farming simulator modding? FS UK, the Ferguson system pack. The Northern Mod Company, I think, have very quickly become one of my favourite mod teams. Uh, the stuff they do for forestry, for the people that like that, are phenomenal. They are such a talented group of people. I believe they're a group of people. So, we've got Fergie Grey's back. Some of you have seen the videos kicking around on YouTube of this. That they, uh, one of the guys that I guess was main dev on it was working on so we've got the whole collection I believe the whole collection if I missed it, anything out oops but I'm pretty sure we've got everything here so well let's start from the front a double Ferguson of what would normally be called as a doe I believe or a doe was the company that used to do them I don't know basically back in the day when tractors went four wheel drive and farmers wanted more power on four wheel drive But the detail, it's obviously someone in the team that made this that knew what they were doing or has access to a whole bunch of these for the various different configs because you look how complicated the hookup is to get all of the controls on the front tractor working. That hydraulic ram controls the gear shifter. I don't know how it kicks over to the left and right, but it's got a rod there that moves it. It's detailed. Like, even the stuff on the dash. That is a highly detailed plaque. God. It's such a nice mod. And just of course the detail on all the machines are going to be relatively the same so we'll gloss over the rest of them there is some stuff that I'm not a fan of ah she could do it coming forward what is this oh there engine block. Of course it would have been petrol, gas, so there's the fuel tank, the sediment bowl, spark plugs, distributor, starter motor, probably ran a 6 volt system. So there's that. The tires are unbranded. Now as we're here and you guys can probably very clearly see it, one of the negatives that I spotted, and it's not big and crazy, uh, the tire does ride over the rim. It's almost like they've made them a bit too soft. Uh, not to complain about, but something I've noticed. Uh, something that does irk me, and I think I said in the video when I first saw this thing, the exhaust. I have never seen a Fergie Grey with an exhaust system pointing like this. It could be wherever they are from, the one they have on their farm or own or whatever is like this, so they made it like that. I personally have never seen it like that. I presume this is a TEA. Maybe it had it real, sort of real life. I'm not sure. I think they ran underneath the frame of the tractor and predominantly because of the loader. I don't know. I, I don't see realistic speaking here. If you have that exhaust pipe pointing the way it is in forward motion, where are all the fumes going? Right back in the driver's face doesn't make sense to me so I'm not too sure why they did that I will right, we'll go around over to your standard if you like Fergie Grey we've got the brush guard on the front there the front loader a weight block that you can put on the back it's just the detail now the front loader is a item that you can configure in the stall
just the, the detail. The stuff I'm actually going to quickly do because I forgot I was messing around earlier. It's probably incredibly loud. This will bump the environment sounds down. Got the oil bath cleaner there for the intake. I didn't sit, show it on the other tractor, so we'll show it here. I believe it's going to be an oil bluff. Oil bluff? Oil bl bath. Yep. There's the oil. Data. Carburetor. Probably an updraft carburetor. The. Oh, it's not an alternator. That'll be a. Dynamo. Dynamo? Yeah. Pretty sure. Very glossy <laughs> exhaust as well. So much hidden detail. So cool. Even if you look at the... Uh, zoom in from up here. Look down at the gearbox case in there. You can see the gears. One, two, three, four. S. Slow, maybe. I, I generally don't know. And obviously reverse. Very, very cool indeed. You know, this is what the dirt looks like. Jeez, I almost knocked stuff off. Very, very standard. Fergie here. Actually, that logo is okay. Interesting. So I'll, uh, I'll make them fully dirty and fully worn. So we'll get on to some of the implements now. Obviously, it comes with a trailer. This holds 3,000 litres. Just a small, probably a homemade trailer. Half track version of the Fergie crew. Pretty cool. Adds a extra axle there that kind of swings off the rear there. Pretty cool. Half track with skis for snow seasons. Yes, look forward to giving that a try. Probably does. It, it, honestly, it's probably going to act exactly the same as that one, just with skis. Okay, so for the front loader there, three attachments, manure fork, pallet fork, and bucket. We have a wood saw. About dry, about driven, I should say. Unfortunately, the bout doesn't spin. That would have been kind of cool if it did, but understandably, probably limitations. Uh, this plow here, you start off with a three furrow, then you can add a four furrow, and then a fifth furrow plow. Obviously, they're all non-reversible. For this bad boy. Two furrow plow here and a one furrow plow that it gets tired. It likes to likes to go to sleep and fall over. I don't know if there's a way to stand that up, but it fell over. And a log grab, which pretty pretty cool. I've got a feeling the log grab, the table I'm just gonna say it's a table saw, effectively. Really would suit this thing in the winter time. In the, some forest applications. But here is the pack. So we'll open it up in the store and go over some of the configs. There is a lot of configs. A hell of a lot of configs. So without further ado, we'll go across. Ferguson tractor. So here they all are in the store. So yeah, I have got everything. So we'll start off with the TA20. Very cheap tractor to buy. Two and a half grand for uh, your default. So... First configuration, front of it basically, so you've got your brush guard and a homemade weight block which looks like it puts sand blocks on the back, sand blocks on the back, sand bags on the front of the tractor, good lord, and back to standard. So again, cool detail. Uh, so here we're going to be looking at the fenders here and the foot pegs down here. Now that is the foot peg there. I believe this was an aftermarket accessory, possibly even from the factory, but I think it was aftermarket. You could get these. So your foot had actually somewhere to be on instead of just pegs. I remember Bill's T-Max, good friend there, telling me about that with his A10. And then you've got the uh, straight fender, no foot pegs. It's a very, very old school look right there. Possibly even you could say maybe American look. I don't know. And then with the foot pegs. Come back to full shell. And then the uh, running board there if you like. So we'll keep it as that for now. Uh, the hitch. So down here. 
pickup style hitch off the drawbar or a normal style drawbar style that swing and drawbar I guess they call it not sure why the three point drops down for it I don't think it affects it in game uh, deco detail something that I'm never going to do personally but you can have Ferguson up on there Ferguson going along the side early heard deco whether that was actually a thing I personally have never seen that but doesn't mean it doesn't exist uh, then we go down to front loader it, it, it's self-explanatory you can see the stuff that gets added in uh, so this stuff here this this is how it's operated I will show that actually it's not added in it's always there hmm? maybe I was wrong maybe I was wrong uh, wheel setup we'll go over here better light him default chain so you got the forestry chains with the spikes and then more of your traditional chain and I believe that's it for this so that is the standard Ferguson Grey 23 horsepower holds 30 litres of fuel does 13 mile an hour and we'll go back obviously shovel weights it holds uh, 500 litres the weight is 500 kilo the half track this awesome thing. Now a lot of this I'm going to gloss over because the front of it, so the configuration here is going to be the same as what we've just seen. The shell and the foot plates, they're all going to be the same. The three point, that's all going to be the same. The decals are all of the same. And obviously, I didn't even realize, but you can have a front loader on this one too. That's the same. So we're just going to go over the tire configs on this one. Scale half track. That's what the ski looks like. So it doesn't change too, too much. Just well removes all front wheels basically and axles then you can go with the six wheel setup why would you want this well, if you're not rolling rocking the tracks at the same time that axle there's probably going to get a lot of wear on it so i don't know if you would really want this i don't know and then tracks with just the well without tracks and just the skis up front and then back to as is something i did notice on this is it seems like th where the track is supposed to be squashing on the bottom of the wheel it's actually up here you can kind of see it's, it looks a little funky i'll show that one some back in game probably in game all right I'll back out of that one and the tandem t a 20 tandem doe whatever you want to call it i believe doe was for the four tractors though again for the most part i'm going to quickly gloss over it's just it's going to change the fenders on all of the tractors this one the pickup hitch again it's going to be the same uh the deck or oh, i would imagine it would put it on both yeah it does uh the wheel setup obviously you can't have a front loader on this and some of the stuff but you can go dual tires triples i think typically i've personally never seen a setup like this as a fergie gray setup i've seen other tractors especially over here on farm shows I think the most typical you see is dualed up like that or just rocking singles does it dualed up does it actually have show the bars going through them or is it, is it just magically hooked up uh, it looks like it's no uh, no nah, no nah, nah. yeah it's magically hooked up eh not to worry it'd be kind of cool if it was proper duals though instead of just those hey doesn't matter and like I said, this is 47 horsepower that holds 30 liters, which that should be doubled up as well. Because it's two tractors that hold in 30 liters, not just the one. They've doubled up the horsepower, but they haven't doubled up the fuel. Again, being picky though. Uh, pallet fork, there's nothing to say. It's a pallet fork, a manure fork. It holds 550 liters. The grapple, there's no configs on that. You guys are just going to have to <laughs> have my word for that. There isn't. Uh, the table saw, cutting small trees into small pieces. Uh, the wood trailer, the wood trailer, the trailer holds 3,000 liters. You can have it as a bale, flatbed trailer, or uh, a tin trailer. One furrow plow has no configs. The two furrow has no configs. The three furrow to five furrow obviously does. And that's literally all that does. And now you know. That is the Fergie pack. 
So, some of you probably want to hear them. What they sound like. How do they drive? Well, let's jump in. They all sound the same. I will straight up say that. I, I was uh, expecting the tandem to have kind of like a twin sound going on, but it doesn't, unfortunately. That's kind of disappointing, too. So we'll drop this. It does have animated hoses for the two hydraulic pipes it can have. It does sound good. It does sound good. So you can see clutch. That works. Steering on the steering box. That all moves. Even on this side. And if we go down here, you can see the gear stick and the hand throttle. And it just rips along. Very nicely indeed. We'll put the lights on. So it has working lights, front lights. I kind of wish they had a like a, a yellowy tinge. I think Black Sheep's good at doing stuff like that. So we'll have a quick bout down here. I'll show you guys the uh, articulation on the axles to show that works. And we've got, you can see the huge drum brakes back here too. So the, I'm pretty sure what someone in there. Uh, Northern Mod Company must have access to one of these somewhere. Be able to do it in the detail they've done. So you can see that front axle does. Oh, she wasn't happy there. <laughs> it does swing and move around. All right, as we're here, we'll open up the Dev Command tool, F11. Go over to here. And we'll set the dirt mount to as high as it possibly can go. And it doesn't look bad at all. It's not as crazy as I was expecting. It's tastefully done. That's cool. Okay, so we'll hit the F11 menu again. Nuke the dirt. But this time we'll add all of the wear possible. That's tastefully done too, actually. <laughs> Even on the exhaust pipe, that's... Uh, yeah. But you see what I mean about the exhaust? And why I'm not a fan. I, I, I could just see that blowing right back in your face, IRL, and... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure why they would have a stack on it. I will right, we'll adjust that. Uh, the... Where and everything is going to be predominantly the same on everything, presumably. Uh, we'll check out the shut that down. We'll check out the loader here. So if you watch the levers to the left and right of the seat. Wow. Okay, we'll start it up. See if that. There we go. So that's a curl on the left, up and down, right there. And we will make it this one dirty. Yeah, it's all on the loader even. It's just lightly done. I like that. The tires show more dirt than anything else. We'll zero that out. We'll put full wear. If I actually paid attention to what I was doing. On that. Ah, that's cool. That does look good. Alright, we'll uh, zero that out. And we'll go over to here. We'll do it on this one as well. The dirt amount. We know what that's going to look like. I'm just curious on the wear. In theory, it should be identical as the tractors. Yeah, it is. Cool. I think. I think. I think. We've really covered it. I think we'll uh, fire this up. So I'm unsure if it is two engine sounds or whether it's just the one. It sounds like it's just the one, unfortunately. And this. It's cool. So you can see the gear stick moving around there. It must be with these different levers here. One lever would be to move it forward. The next one would be to kick it over. So it's not a, not a simple thing to drive. But there again, with these things, you typically set it and forget it almost.
pretty cool indeed. And then of course, the ski mobile here will uh, spin it around, trying to hook it up to that. But that on is honestly, this drives exactly the same as the wheeled variant here. So we'll back this up to. This thing I just wanted to show you guys about the belt not moving, not that it's a big thing neither. So we'll lower it down, fire it up. Oh, the PTO doesn't actually properly attach. I never noticed that. That's weird. Okay. That could do with adjusting them, but you can see the belt doesn't move. I never noticed the PTO, wow. And there you go, the Fergie pack. I'm not going to show the plows because the plows are just plows and the rest of the stuff. Uh, the log grab's kind of cool, actually. Uh, that's a bit overkill, but we'll use this for it as it's right here. So log grab hooks up, you see the two hydraulic go on to it there. So you can lift this up, down. Don't believe you can turn it. No. But that's the way it's modelled on how it closes is kind of cool. By the looks of things it's kind of a free spinning ordeal there. Pretty neat. Pretty cool thing. And even that, that's got a plaque on it I've just noticed. Ferguson plaque. Maybe they just threw that on all of them. Yeah, they did. British made. Oh, yeah. There we go. The Fergie pack. So happy this is out. So happy indeed. We'll try and uh, figure out a way of using it in a few episodes. So until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Go give this a download. And on a side note, Shamrock is also out. Go get that. Till next time, catch you guys later. See ya.